What do you think is going to happen when I pull the string on the back of this little toy car? It drives in the opposite direction. Is that what you were expecting? Or maybe it's a trick question, because you knew something weird was going to happen, or I'd be the weird one dragging my Hot Wheels around with a little piece of string. Let me show you how I built this car. I use SolidWorks to simulate the idea and generate the final parts for laser cutting. I'll talk about how the car actually works at the end of the video. Laser on. Air compressor on. That's so loud. You know what really grinds my gears about this free open source laser cutting software, which costs me literally nothing, is the order in which it cuts lines. You have an option to cut the inner features first, which is good. That way everything is lined up, but it won't cut the lines in order. So you'll cut this line, then it jumps over and cuts this line, then jumps over and cuts this line, and it takes forever. The other option is to cut lines which are nearest, and it'll do a continuous path that way, but it won't necessarily cut the inner features first. So when the outline has been cut, the piece will fall in, or sometimes it'll fall in at an angle, like over here, and then it cuts these inner features at an angle, or they'll be completely misaligned. Free software. Some of those went flying, so I've got one. That's a good start. Found the last one. It's stuck in the honeycomb. I think he uh, oh, he's gonna stay there. All the parts are cut, and I've also got a piece of uh, string and a paper clip to act as the axles and shafts. I'm gonna quickly sand down a little chamfer on the flange that goes in the pulley to keep things hopefully from getting caught on it. Paper clips make pretty terrible axles. You can see the gears wobbling around and occasionally they'll get stuck. I could use something less terrible than paper clips, but I think I'd equate that to supercharging a PT Cruiser. A quick dab of super glue should help keep the gears from slipping on the shaft. Now I'm going to glue the uh, four side pieces together using some uh, super glue. Now that the super glue is dry-ish, I'm going to take the top off and we're going to put the string through the front hole. And now I'm going to make a little gap between the flange, push the string in, and then I'm going to squeeze it together. Now can roll the string up and then we can pull the string and the car drives forward. All right, so let's take a look under the hood and see what's going on. The car relies on two things, a gear reduction as close to one as possible and a large amount of friction between the wheels and the ground. With the bare wooden wheels, there's not enough friction to overcome the force of me pulling back and the wheels pushing forward, so the wheels mostly slip. 
Putting rubber bands on the tires increases the amount of friction. I have someone to test out the mind-blowing car. <laughs> Pull the string and see what happens. Is that it? Yes, that's all it does. Hello. Hey, you are. Well, uh, that's it. The end. See you next time. If you, if you want to subscribe for more crappy science videos. Bye.